Phyllis the Firefighter Once upon a time, in the cosy little town of Willowville, there lived a remarkable woman named Phyllis. She wasn't your typical grandma. In fact, she was a firefighter in her nineties. Her silver hair shone like a crown, and her smile was as warm as the summer sun. But what made Phyllis extra special was that she never stopped being a hero. One sunny morning, the fire alarm rang loudly through the fire station. Phyllis jumped up from her knitting corner, where she was working on a bright pink scarf for Mr Jenkins, her next-door neighbour. With her knitting needles in one hand, and her firefighter's helmet in the other, she raced to the fire truck. Phyllis to the rescue! she cheered, her knitting needles clicking away. The whole town gathered to watch, as Phyllis and her brave firefighter friends roared off to the rescue. Flames danced high in the sky as they approached a blazing building. Phyllis, always eager to lend a helping hand, took a deep breath, put down her knitting, and rushed inside. The firefighters battled the fierce flames, but Phyllis had a secret weapon, her trusty garden hose, which she had coiled up in her knitting bag. She watered the flames like they were thirsty flowers in her garden, and patted out the remaining flames with her handkerchief. After a whirlwind of excitement, they finally put out the fire, and the crowd cheered for Phyllis. She had saved the day! But there was no time to rest, for Phyllis had her scarf to finish. She quickly sat down and continued her knitting, making sure Mr Jenkins would be warm come winter. The townsfolk loved Phyllis's heroics, and they knew she was a force to be reckoned with. One sunny afternoon, as Phyllis was tending to her vibrant garden, her neighbour's cat, Whiskers, got stuck high in a tree. Mr Jenkins, the neighbour, gave Phyllis a call, unsure of what to do, and she rushed over in her overalls and gardening gloves, looking up at Whiskers. With a chuckle, Phyllis set down her gardening tools, climbed the tree with cat-like agility, and soon had Whiskers purring in her arms. She safely descended, all while making sure her precious rose bushes got a bit of attention. Mr Jenkins was amazed and amused by Phyllis's knack for multitasking, and he knew that she was a hero, not only to him, but to all the cats and people in Willowville. But the biggest challenge was yet to come. Willowville was known for its fierce lawn bowls competitions, and Phyllis was the reigning champion for the last fifty years. But that year, a new opponent had emerged. The Firefighters' Cup was on the line. Phyllis couldn't let her firefighter buddies down, so she balanced her fire helmet on one side and her lawn bowls on the other. The competition was fierce, with fast bowling and daring tactics, but Phyllis held her own. She'd dash from the bowling green to the fire station in her lawn bowls uniform and back to the green again, all while ensuring her knitting never got neglected. In the end, she won the Firefighters' Cup, knitting victory scarves for her fellow firefighters as they celebrated the win. The children of Willowville adored Phyllis and her remarkable talents. They often gathered around her to hear stories of her adventures. She'd tell them about the time she rescued a teddy bear from a pretend dragon, or the time she knitted a rainbow-coloured blanket for a unicorn. Phyllis became a beloved figure in town, not only for her heroics, but also for her boundless energy and sense of humour. Every morning, she'd lead the children in a yoga class before rushing off to work, knitting needles in hand. One evening, as the sun set over Willowville, Phyllis sat on her porch, working on a new crochet technique, and gazing at the calm town she'd protected for years. The children, who had grown up hearing her stories, gathered around to listen to her latest adventure. As she spoke, they looked at her with admiration in their eyes, knowing that they had a real hero in their midst. And so, in Willowville, Phyllis the firefighter, a grandma and a hero, carried on relentlessly putting out fires, rescuing cats from trees, 
winning lawn bowls competitions and knitting up a storm. She taught everyone that age was just a number, and that you could be a hero at any age, as long as you had the heart and determination of someone like Phyllis. The End <laughs>